Howdy tubeubers, TJ Pyramid here with, I guess, this is a video response to Aaron Penn, Andrew Bellina, and uh, Faligar. Uh, they all showcase their Italian horror uh, films, so I figured I would go ahead and uh, look through the collection and uh, pick out the ones that uh, I have. Um, I don't think I missed any, but you know, there's always that elusive one that might be floating around. Um, so let's just go ahead and start off here with, uh, one that, uh, Faligar showed that, uh, well, yeah, it's, uh, Troll 2 right there, directed by an Italian feller going under an American name. So there we go, right there. Next up, uh, the notorious, uh, movie by Ruggiero Dodato. That's the uh, Cannibal Holocaust right there. Uh, next up here we have the no shame, no shame release of Sergio Martino. That's the strange vice of Ms. Ward. Fantastically great film. One of my favorite Sergio Martinos. Absolutely love this film. Uh, the next couple are um, some blue underground ones. Here's a uh, Lucio Fulci, the black cat. Actually, have no um, Blu rays of any Italian movies. I uh, have no arrows. So, uh, mer, mer. So these will all be DVDs, but uh, you know, it's fine with me. At least I get to uh, see the movie. The uh, two disc Blue Underground release of Suspiria. Great picture on the back. Looks like she tripped and fell into a bowl of tomato soup. Uh, another one here, one of the films by an Italian feller. That's a Dario Argento right here. It's the two evil eyes. Now this one here is a lot like um, Full Cheese Zombie. In fact, it uh, even has the uh, same guy in it, Ian McCullough. That is a uh, Zombie Holocaust. This is the Shriek Show release and this also uh, is known by a different name which this is the reversible cover if you can see that right there Dr. Butcher Um, now, all the next one, I think all the rest actually are uh, Anchor Bay. And uh, strangely enough, we go into La Jill Fulci's Zombie. Oh, back when Anchor Bay was a company worth collecting. Mer. Now we have the uh, limited edition Dario Argento Collection, Volume 2, Double Feature. Demons and Demons 2. I would love to have those still books of this. I believe put out by Synapse or something of that nature. But uh, just a bit too spendy for my budget, unfortunately. But uh, this is still a great collection right here. Next up, uh, one of my all time favorite. Um, Italian horror slash a little bit of comedy in this films. That's a uh, Cemetery Man or uh, Della Morte Della Mor, as it is known. This is part of the Dario Argento collection that Anchor Bay had going. This is the church. This is originally 
known as Demons 3. But, uh, yeah, became the church. It's a cool film. A really young uh, Azar Gento in this. That's fun. Uh, I think, in my opinion, the last good film by Argento. Um, I really haven't liked anything he's done uh, after this. Um, but uh, this was a made-for-TV movie here. But uh, actually, really, really good film. Do you like Hitchcock? I think this is a really well-done, suspenseful thriller slash horror Hey, uh, another Argento here. Um, not one of my favorites, but uh, still, um, still a fun film. Trauma. Terrible cover. Absolutely terrible cover. Hate that cover. Probably my uh, other favorite, Sergio Martino. That's Torso. See the looming face in the background. Here's another Argento, part of the Argento collection opera. Uh, my favorite Lucio Fulci film, hands down. Um, the Arrow release of this would be killer to have. Uh, I'm, I've looked at it a couple times, but uh, once again, just never got around to getting it. But uh, that is The Beyond. I love this cover, though. I think that's a great cover. And just a fabulous cover. Also like the... Uh, disc on this one. I like that. I like that green. And you also get a story on the inside there about the beyond and whatnot. So it's always nice to have. Um, maybe my second favorite Fulci of all time. I absolutely love the killer in this movie. Just the noise and such. That's uh, the New York Ripper. And last, um, Volume 3 of the Lucio Fulci collection, um, we have City of the Living Dead, which is another one of my uh, favorite ones, and uh, Don't Torture a Duckling, which is absolutely cool. Cool film. Very disturbing, creepy film. So, uh... There we go. Um, like I said, don't have any Blu-rays or nothing, but uh, I'm always on the lookout for Blu-rays. If they ever do pop up, I suppose I will uh, buy them at some point. Uh, I keep my eyes open on Amazon and such for um, such said Blu-rays. But until then, you know, I'm happy and content with actually having copies of these movies, at least on DVD, and uh, they do have some pretty cool special features. So uh, there we go. That's my video response to Andrew Bellina, Aaron Penn, and uh, Faligar. Um, there we go. It's a fun video. Fun, fun video. So uh, thanks for everybody that uh, watched this video. Um, comment, subscribe, and uh, spread the word. Thanks for watching. Cheers.